me now to answer more of your questions is my panel of experts, Dagan McDowell, Mitch Rochelle, and Jean Mark. So I, want, I had a few other viewer questions, and here's one. Um, maybe give this one to you, Jean. This is from Amy Kelly. She says she hasn't filed taxes yet for 2019. And in 2018, they had a 17-year-old daughter. They claimed her. She is now in college, 18, and has filed her own taxes for th three years straight. It looks like they're el eligible to get the $2,400 plus $500 based on last year. But they're asking, will the daughter also get her own check now that she's a working adult? And, you know, these are questions that families across the country are trying to yeah. figure out. Very real life questions. I mean, the rule of thumb that you have to remember is that there's really no double dipping. So um, if the daughter's being claimed as a dependent on your tax return, the parent's tax return, then mm -hmm. that's the reimbursement they're going to get, the $500 reimbursement. If the daughter is over the age of 17 and she's filing her own tax return and is not claiming herself as a dependent, you're not claiming her as a dependent, then she will get her own stimulus check. So again, it's either one or the other. Perfect. Can I add right. one thing? And then really Mitch Rochelle. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Dagan. No, I was just going to say that that applies to the plan uh, gener uh, generally excludes anybody who isn't a child and who can be claimed as someone else's dependent. So that would also include some disabled people, elderly people who are claimed as dependents. And it is roughly about 21 million mm -hmm. Americans. So they will not get money if claimed right. as a dependent if they're an adult. All right. And Ms. Rochelle, this question was from Facebook. Maura Ellen asks, um, if the bank account you had for 2018 filing has closed and you haven't yet filed 2019, how will the Treasury Department even find your banking information? How will they get this check to you? Yeah, that's a common question, Dana. And the answer is if they can't send you a direct deposit um, uh, credit into your checking account uh, or if it bounces back, uh, they're going to mail you a check. Um, and there most likely will be a form available, because the IRS loves its forms, to go out and claim um, those checks. If you end up not getting one, and we know everybody needs the money now, all of this will be settled on people's 2020 tax return. So if for some reason you don't get it, you'll basically have a credit against any taxes due in 2020. Try to be patient. And Dagan, let me end this with you, because I, I like this question, and I figure you're a great person to answer. This is from TJ Ringer. Will anything positive come out of this difficult time for the economy? Well, there's a lot of hardship that we're staring at right now for literally millions of Americans who have lost their jobs and are losing their jobs. Um, Macy's just today has said it's going to furlough uh, the majority of its 130,000 employees, and they're going to keep paying their health insurance premiums, give them health insurance through May. But again, this is devastating. So I think that to focus on the short term, not to look at the negative. In, in the long run, we have a government that is willing to do anything to rescue this economy. And I think certainly we will have a better health care system down the road. Private industry will develop a treatment for this virus, ultimately a vaccine for this virus, and it'll bring us together as a nation and teach us how to work together rather than mm -hmm. fight with one another. And Jean Marks, how do, you, how do you see that? What would you tell your clients that are worried? My clients are primarily small business owners, um, Dana, and, and I have to tell you something. I think many of them, the ones that do make it out of this, are going to survive a lot more stronger than they were before. Um, they're going to know the value of having enough cash reserves on account, um, investing in technology, investing in their people, being a little bit more conservative with how they run their businesses, because they know when you run a business, and I've learned this from a lot of smart people that have run businesses for many years, there are always ups and downs. This is a big trial, but I do think that yeah. when they emerge from this, they will be stronger. Dana, really quickly, I want to point out, yeah, I've told people this in, yes, the, in the streets, like my friends, my neighbors, of course, six feet away. But this small business loan program, and it's not just loans, it's actually grants if you're going to spend the money on payroll, on rent or utilities. This is getting underway right now. It, these loans will be made through the, any FDIC bank starting this Friday. And we're talking about uh, loans that can get done in one day. They're going to be retroactive back to February the 15th. You can borrow up to two and a half times your payroll based on February 15th, up to $10 million. Wow. Get that money if you're yeah. a small business. And um, we'll, we'll definitely have you back because I think the three of you have been very helpful. What I would add to this is that you may be somebody that has never asked the government for anything before. Do not be shy. Do not be embarrassed to ask for this help. This help is being provided to you. We want you to take advantage of it because it will help the economy in the long run. Dagan McDowell, Mitch Rochelle, and Jean Marks, thank you so much.